Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner again. So today we are going to discuss about the last week or week 6 of IT security defense against the digital dark arts. Okay, so in the last week we are going to talk about the risk in the workplaces. Okay, so we are going to talk about the last or last courses first quiz. Okay, so the first question of the risk in the workplace is what are some examples of security goals that you may have for an organization okay so it could be to prevent unauthorized access to customer credentials and second to protect the customer data from unauthorized access okay so the second question uh, which of these would you consider high value targets for a potential attacker so there may be multiple answers so the first answer would be customer credit card information and authentication databases okay so where's the purpose of vulnerability scanner it detects vulnerabilities on your network systems okay and the number four what are the some restrictions that you should apply to sensitive and confidential data okay so it can be stored or on an encrypted media only okay so there is only one answer okay uh, what's the privacy policy designed to guard against what's the privacy policy designed to guard against its misuse or abuse of sensitive data okay so that's it so we have another topic which is called user okay so we are going to check about the uh, check out the questions of users okay so you're interested in using the services of a vendor company how would you assess the security capabilities? I need to ask them to complete a questionnaire and I can also ask them to provide any penetration testing or security assessment reports. Okay, so this penetration testing you should remind because we will need it in our final assessment. What is the goal of a mandatory IT security for an organization? IT security training for an organization to educate uh, to educate employees on how to stay secure and to build a culture that prioritizes security. Okay, so uh, that's more or less all the topics. Uh, and there are some stories you must also go through them. And we have last topic, which is called incident handling. Okay, so in incident handling, we have two questions for quiz. We need to check this out. What is the first step in handling an incident? You need to detect the incident. That's the first step. Okay, so how do you protect against a similar incident occurring again in future? You can conduct a post incident analysis. Okay, so that's how you should do. So our incident handling uh, is also covered. Okay, so we are going to our final assessment. Okay, so this assessment is kind of hard, but we will try to cover it. Uh, I got 100% in this. So I think you guys also, you guys will also get 100% mark. Okay. So the first question is what tool can you use to discover vulnerabilities or dangers, misconfigurations on your systems and network? This will be vulnerability scanner. You can use vulnerability scanner tool for detecting them. Okay. So second question, a strong password is a good step towards good security. But what else is recommended to secure authentication? This is two-factor authentication. Okay, so what are the first two steps of incident handling and responses? This will be incident detection and incident containment. Okay, so when handling credit card payments of your organization, they need to be adhered to the PCI DSS. Okay, so what is PCI DSS? That's maybe your question, but that's explained in our next question PCI DSS is mainly payment card industry data security standard or which is shortly known as PCI DSS which of these goals would benefit from encrypted data transmission it will be protecting cardholders data okay so dash is the practice of attempt, attempting to break into a system or network for the purpose of a verification of systems in a place this is called penetration testing okay so question number seven which of these are bad security habits commonly seen amongst employees in workplaces this will be 
password on a post-it note. We used to write our password in a note and leaving laptop with a logged in and unattended. And this, this two are the bad habits, okay? A coworker needs to share sensitive file with you, but it's too large to send via an encrypted email. The coworker works out of a remote office. You work at headquarters. Which of these options would most likely to be approved by the company's security policy? You can upload it to a company secure cloud storage or you can share directly via VPN. Okay. So question number nine, management wants to build a culture where employees keep security in mind. Employees should be able to access information freely and provide feedback or suggestions without worry. Which of these are great ideas for this type of culture? You can uh, check out poster or implement a poster for promoting good security behavior or you can also uh, use designated mailing list for them. Okay, so next question. What is the very first step of handling incident is detecting the incident. Okay, so question number 11 and the last question. After a known good backup has been restored and the known vulnerabilities have been closed, the systems should be thoroughly Okay, so that's all for our graded assignment quiz, final quiz. So we have some uh, another quiz, which is basically a written test. So you guys need to write for, so I'm telling you what you need to do is, suppose you are going to create a company and with a culture of security. So you need to write a document and where you should make a list of the infrastructure of or the equipments that you need to implement in your company okay or you need to supposed to buy this okay so what they could be i wrote uh, they also give you some suggestions that that authentication system must be implemented external web security and you should also think about your internal web security okay so remote access solution firewall recommendation wireless security vlan configuration so all you need to do is just you can search on Google by writing authentication system and then just copy paste it or just rephrase it because Coursera have have some uh, honor code of copy and paste. So you guys should not try to copy paste, just try to refresh this thing. So you can just refresh the authentication system and just write it here. Okay. So as I also wrote it and then you can also use all the topics if you search on google and you will get details about it and then just rephrase the, all the things serially as they already mentioned here okay so then you just write it and in the box and then submit it then you will have a great submission okay so they also have a suggestion that what a great submission should like okay so you can take a screenshot or pause the video if you want to know details about this and then you can also include these points and i think that's how you can get 100 percent in your graded assignment right so that's all for week six and after doing this you will get a certificate your certificate will be also ready just like nine so thank you for staying with me and hope to see you again with another course of this specialization and please like and subscribe and thank you for watching